Alright, today we are going to expand our adventures into Stalker Anomaly at least, into a full-blown trilogy Because there's one more thing which we haven't done We've covered... Oh god, hold on, this is more than a trilogy Oh no, it's a Star Wars trilogy We've covered... Story mode Covered... Oh no, it's a trilogy alright, story mode We've done... Warfare And here we are the last, well, last station, survival. We've been having quite a bit of fun with Stalker, and I figured, you know what, I might as well give survival a spin. Uh, oh, uh, so... Alright, so survival mode is pretty plain and straightforward. Survival mode is a feature that replaces all the spawns with zombies, you know, those, those slow, silly things. These hordes will make their way to your location. Be prepared, see how long you can survive. Now, uh... Yeah, about that how long you can survive. I'm I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be very long. Matter of fact, I'd be surprised if we can even survive for two hours. But it's not gonna stop me, you know, I wanna have a bit of fun. So I figured might as well give it a, a try. Um Accessible zone, it really doesn't matter whether or not it's accessible, I'll leave it be. Now the real fun comes right down here. Iron Man mode. Uh, ooh, campfire mode. In campfire save mode, you can save your progress un unless you're standing near a campfire. Campfires can be found scattered all across the zone and represent gathering places where stalker for stalkers everywhere. And then we have... Agony mode. Y yeah, hmm. No, I'm good. I'm good. And timer mode, you can save your game every specific amount of time. So, uh, yeah, survival mode. I think we're going to be playing with Iron Man. That means that we might be done in 5 minutes, or it might be 15 minutes. Now, to give me a bit of leeway, because I am a very messy person. Um, I'm anything but good at the game, or careful, or smart, or tactical, or a survivor for that matter. I'm, I'm going to up or Iron Man uh, lives from 1 to... Three. In Azizel, death is not the end. Like the demon Azazel, you will possess a new body when you die, taking over the form of another random soccer that really exists in the zone. If you have companions, you will become one of them. This feature complements Armen and or survival mode very well. Um, ooh, that does make me wonder, should we still go with Armen? Like, on the other hand, what we could do is we have three lives, which means we're going to be probably jumping into three random people. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking about enabling the life grantor and putting it on uh, every five days we get a life. So there's quite a bit of leeway where, you know, if we survive for a long time, we get granted a boon. I think this is, let's see. Does this up? Oh, it's just an additional life. I, I don't know if it's actually going to push us above the three limit, but that's fine. So, every five days, we'll be fine. Uh, the idea behind this is that, you know, if we actually do a good job at surviving, we get rewarded for it. Um, I probably also want to enable campfire mode. But I don't think we need to do that if we are running around with Iron Man, because Iron Man should disable saving altogether. Oh, hmm. But dying will result in the removal of all saves made with this character. I think this will be the nil in our coffin campfire mode, which means we can just randomly save and cross our fingers and hope for the best. Um, yes, it is quite a bit agonizing, and I'm pretty sure this won't last very long. But the idea behind it is we've been playing this game for like, what? <laughs> Over a year? It's time for all that experience to pay off, right? Um... We'll see how it goes. It's, hmm, I'm a bit iffy about campfire mode, mostly because, like, I know that if I don't enable it, I might be able to abuse it. Like, oh, I'm about to run around the corner, let me just save, and then I run around the corner and just crap in front of me. I mean, it will be the lame way to just simply load up a save before we die, but this will kind of force us into that box. On the other hand, it means we've got to find the campfire. Yeah, we'll do it. 
All right, which leaves us with gameplay difficulty. I do not think I need to mess around with this, to be fair. And progression difficulty. Now, of course, I can go as extreme as I want, and we just make it a very hard gameplay difficulty to get it with uh, survivalist progression difficulty, which means we can't buy items and uh, other stuff. I actually don't know exactly what this does. Let's see. Protection against damage sources, stamina loss, and carry away, in addition to extra aspects such as water and sleep deprivation. Whereas easy has what? It doesn't exactly tell me how um, how it skills, but we'll pick medium difficulty, and I guess we can um, just pick scavenger progression difficulty, not to make it too difficult, you know. All right. That being said, that gives us seven hundred points, and we get to decide how we use them. There's a few goodies that we can pick up, so let's try to be clever about this. We have a pistol, which is pretty nice. Backpack. We have a bit of armor. A knife. Oh, the knife is definitely gonna save me. I'm never gonna use it. All right. I'm thinking about picking up a uh, playing a loner. Oh crap! You're right. Our factions need to be different. Um. So let's see, we've played loners in the base game, we've played renegades last time around, we can pick a fun faction, we can pick a disgusting faction, sorry, dis okay, half of them are disgusting. Um, these are the worst of all, monolith. Type ISG, uh, where do I do this? How did I do this again? ISG, right? No, ISG. Oh, there we are. The ISG, the International Scientific Group. I almost want to say the community. Recommended for advanced players only. Oh, that's not us. <laughs> that does sound like us. Look at that. A portrait to match. Now, uh, we've, we've been Strelok. We've been Despicable Stalker. And now we are Scientific Stalker. Ah, there we go, look at that. How we go. <laughs> um, random starting location. We can either start in the eastern tunnels of Jupiter or in the hospital outskirts. Hmm. So let me think about the ramifications. If we start in the outskirts, we most likely will run into Monolith, which sounds quite fun. Wait, hold on. When they said all the spawns will be replaced, they're talking about wildlife spawns, right? I'm sure they do. Anyways, um... Jupiter or Outskirts, and I say, surprise me. It's all Z's. Ripyot or Jupiter, yeah. Those are the two. Like, I don't care. I'm not really leaning towards either side. Hospitals, okay, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards hospitals, let's be fair. But, um, yeah, sure, we'll do it. I'm actually leaning towards hospital. Uh, we'll pick up uh, medkits, we'll pick up some bandages. I know that I'm going to be needing those. It leaves us with 450 points. Now, we either can pick up a gun... Or we can pick up some other stuff, such as anti-radiation, batteries. And I'm kind of tempted to say, like, well, what we really should be picking up is uh, stuff that's going to keep us alive. But the gun also keeps us alive. I mean, the UMP-45. <laughs> uh, shoots bullets. Shoots bullets as well. Well, I'm pretty sure we can scavenge a thing or two if we need be. Ooh, just a grenade. Um, right, let's uh, stock up on an additional bit of food. That's 50. Can of beans is 100. Ooh, can tomatoes. So we have 100 points left. You know, that does put this in perspective. We can't even pick up these gu Wait, we have 300 points left. What am I talking about? Still, it does put things a bit into perspective. We'll pick up anti-radiation drugs. We do not need batteries. Um, you know what? An echo detector might be nice. Oh, uh, kind of expensive. 
Well, we kind of are going to need an echo detector, I'm not going to lie, so yoink. Alright, with 100 more points to go, I think uh, we should choose wisely here. Yep. I'm going to do something stupid. Bam! Energy drink. Just like that. <gasps> Ooh! Improvised stim pack. Take it back. Alright, so this is going to be our setup. We're going to be playing as the ISG, the International Scientific Group. We're going to be the scientific stalker. We're going to start at the hospital. We spent 700 points, mostly on utility items, which means we're going to be running around with a Beretta 92 camouflage. Oh my. Um, it's Azel story mode. Uh, sorry, Azel mode. We're going to be doing survival. The entire zone is accessible. Uh, we've enabled Iron Man mode with three lives. Every five days we gain an additional life. Gameplay difficulty is medium and scavenger progression difficulty. And campfire mode. Let's not forget about the campfire mode. That being said and done, let's get started. Any day now. Uh, right, and there's, of course, as always, one more thing I got to do. Uh, I always forget to fix this before I get started, but um, let's see. My PC is actually willing to help me out here. It doesn't look like it. Um, okay. Okay, that's nice, that's nice, but where the hell is my OBS? Where the hell is my bloody OPS? <laughs> uh, gone are the days that it was so easy to set this up. I really don't understand why um why Sulker so aggressively consumes all my uh, PC resources. That must be it. Right? Okay, I think we are all set to die. Um, yes, we're all set to die. Oh, not, not completely, we're still loading in. Now we're set to die. So this is us, we started in the hospital as we've known. We have knife, we have gun, our inventory. Uh, we've, we've definitely seen better days. So has the bird. Bye birdie. Welcome to the United Stalker Network. Based on available data, we currently have 193 re registered individuals in the zone. Welcome to the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, Scientific Stalker. That's us! Alright, first things first, we're gonna get equipped. And we're gonna keep animations on, which makes this even more punishing. Now, don't expect exciting or cool or neat gameplay. This is all going to be slow paced and boring as all hell. Hmm. So if I remember correctly, Ripiot in particular is a monolith hot zone. And what that means for us is that we are going to get shot to pieces by Monolith. That's going to be fun. I think I just heard something on my right side. Might be worth keeping an eye out on what's going on on the right side. Maybe I can scavenge a bit. At least until we get a real gun. Alright, so my biggest weakness is not going to be... Hostile Stalkers. It's not going to be the zombies. It's not going to be survival mode. It's not going to be finding food, eats, drinks, whatever. It's going to be anomalies. Anomalies is what's going to kill me. Uh, that's kind of why I wanted to go with three lives instead of one. Um, it, depending on how it goes, I might actually attempt a second playthrough. 
but my general consensus at the moment is this is the one playthrough we have. We die and we lose our save, it is over and we move on. Just hope uh hope it will last for a bit. Hmm. Zombie. Right over there. So one thing that I could attempt to do is knife zombies. Um Wait, 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 wait. Backing up, backing up, backing up. I think I see two people inside the building. Oh, that's at least a zombie. Mm -hmm. so what's the next game you're going to be playing? <laughs> um, okay, to be fair, I haven't figured out what the next game is that I'm going to play. Originally I was thinking about... By the way, we're going to have to get close and we're going to have to get funky there. Originally I was thinking about playing Hitman, but we kind of did that on a Sunday. So I'm kind of clueless to that regard. Really, really don't hope dogs will jump us. Okay, I've already gotten myself in quite a pickle. But it's time for spell force. I was thinking about doing Spell Force after we're done with Jacked Alliance, but yeah, we could actually do Spell Force. There's a few other isometric games I'd like to try out as well. That I have lined up, so there's plenty of other things to play after Jacked Alliance. That... It's monolith. Oh. Uh, that is a zombie. <laughs> you can also play Caesar, Pharaoh, Zeus, or Emperor. Um, fun story. I was planning to do that after Majesty. Just Majesty took quite a long time for me to actually get through it. And we still have Defenders of Arcadia to do. Oh, I forgot. I forgot those guys can shoot me back. Uh, can shoot back at me. Um. Hmm. Uh. That's where he went. I gotta be careful. I gotta be really careful. There's somebody inside. Oh, why am I doing this? Well, that's out of the question. I do not have a grenade. Which means I'm probably just gonna leg it out of here as soon as I can. I was hoping to get the drop on one of them and just uh, blast them in the back of their head. Oh, well, that kind that plan kind of failed. Also, uh, it's mostly because the zombies gave me away. Oh, okay. I gave myself away because of the zombies, I should say. Um, but yeah, some of them were actually running around in uh, power armor. Two zombies, three zombies. Okay. Hmm. But I've been trying to think of a first-person shooter that I've been meaning to play, and I just can't come up with anything at this point. I probably would have to cons um, consult my list that I once upon a time made, like, I think a year and a half ago. With games that I'd, I'd like to play. Maybe there's a first-person shooter in there, but I don't think I'll be able to find one. Or one that's interesting, at least. Jack Holt. <laughs> so terrible. Yet it is so useful for us to actually uh, find all that stuff.
Mm. Also, I cannot fight the zombies. Um, if I run into zombies, I basically have to back out, where ammo is quite precious. Talk to you guys. Getting out of here. So for now, we'll do what we do best, and that's just uh, scavenge a whole bunch of buildings. Hey, didn't we start here? Doesn't matter. Bullets are bullets. Broken flashlight is a broken flashlight. I kind of want to avoid doing stupid things. Um, I tend to have a real uh, talent. Killer vines. Never forget uh, the torment you've caused me. Normally I have a natural tendency to get myself killed in the most uh, awkward ways possible. And now that we're running with Iron Man mode, I, I got to be very careful with what I do. Because only an idiot with a pistol was willing to take on three monolith guys with guns and power armor. <laughs> I think he can get away with it. Uh, it's all about the element of surprise, really. Uh, so for now, our main objective will be to stay alive, scavenge a bit, maybe find a better gun, and definitely better armor. And one downside, oh dear god, okay. One downside in this case is we kinda already used the bandaged bandage. Alright, let's not aggravate them. So fun fact. Ooh, that's clicking radiation. I do not want to deal with that. This building may or may not be teaming with Monolith, and I'm not ready to deal with them just yet. For a variety of reasons. If I had a real gun, I'd feel more comfortable. Instead, we have a camouflage Beretta, which is so poorly camouflaged I can't even see it in my hands. I mean, there's not a lot I'm asking for, but come on. And again, I probably won't, won't be able to know where I'm aiming at that. And again, that doesn't really hurt my aim now, does it? Also, we are mostly going to be staying away from these type of anomalies right over here. Um, usually they get me killed. Usually I'm not equipped properly enough to pick up the artifact they drop. And usually I have to expend like 12 lives in order to actually get it. That's the school again, isn't it? I feel like I'm just running in big circles. Alright, let's quickly um, check out our PDA. So, I am thinking we came from this area. How about we go to the grocery outskirts? I think we might be able to pick up a, a thing or two right over there. Um, I'm having to do this all by memory. Uh, it sounds pretty dumb because I just pulled up my PDA. But I think certain locations actually can have pretty good goodies stashed away. I mean, I guess all locations have goodies stashed away, which may or may not be pretty good. Oh, bollocks! Uh-uh. No. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Come on. Great. Oh, I hope that stupid thing ain't following me. Don't think it is. Yeah. That's a real crate. Son of a gun. Oh no. Um 
There was something bad here. What was it? What was it? What usually resides here? Oh, nothing. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Dead end. I really need to get a real gun. Uh, I think that I'm, I'm just gonna make that my top priority. Um... No! 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 A son of a bastard! Oh! There goes all my bullets! Son of a bitch, I knew they chased me! <laughs> I knew they chased me! Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure these things can kill me. Um, I'm not gonna lie about that, okay? Uh, probably two wax and we're down. Not like I have anything good to defend myself with. No, I don't anymore, that's for sure. First locked. Stupid door. Um, so that's the next problem. I gotta be way more careful with what I do. Every decision I make may or may not actually get me killed. Even as simple as being in the wrong place at the wrong time. So about uh, some other games that we might be able to play. Uh, definitely need to start thinking about that. Hmm. Ah, uh, that's not good. Ah, uh, okay. Deep breaths. Alright. Deep breaths. Right. Um. <sighs> There's greenery in the way. Alright, these lo seem to be normal corpses, or somebody already looted it. Uh, sounds to me like the mercenaries actually might be fighting. Wanna live? He's wounded, kill him. Sin versus somebody. You know what I really hate? Universal weapon cleaning kit, okay. Those accursed bushes, they just make it near impossible. For me to see anything. Okay, those wolves, uh, those dogs are running away. Um, ironically speaking, if we're dealing with dogs right now, we're gonna die. This gun has a total of 8 bullets, 11 bullets left. Dennis said he's taton to a pseudo dog. 
So if you hear agonizing screams in like 10 to 15 seconds, I am so terribly sorry. I got docked. I got docked. Yeah, strawberry remains my biggest weakness. I can't deal with it. <gasps> yes! Yes! Alright, thank you, buddy. This is this is what I need. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We're not over encumbered. Slowly back up. God, today's a great day. Today's a fantastic day. Thank you, freedom. Wait, what? Yar. Thank you, Yar. Yar har fiddly dee. A pirate, that's all I wanted to be. Thank you for handing me your gun. Now, the guns are kind of... Uh, they've, they've been in better condition. A good start, though. So... Hey, guess what time it is, guys. We're gonna also be fixing weapons today. Doesn't that sound like a lot of fun? Favorite pastime activity. Max Chemist. Oh, you're also zombified. Okay. Okay. Good news. We now officially got an upgrade. Uh, our upgrade does not contain a lot of bullets. God knows how long we're gonna last. 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 Hmm. I wonder if I can make my way onto that ladder. Well, even if I could, it's probably not climbable. Based on that interaction. So let's quickly check out our spoils, shall we? We got a few bullets. Oh god, we only have four and six bullets. Uh, which means I gotta keep using my gun for now, which is gonna be my knife. Uh, we do have a universal weapon cleaning kit, and we also have a small bore rifle repair kit. We have some technological items. We have a pistol, we have a knife, we have some food. Now the problem with this is our gun can actually quite likely jam. I'm, I'm not a big fan of jamming guns, let's be fair. They've uh, proven to be my arch nemesis over the last few months. But I don't think it's possible for us to get it cleaned up and fixed. Hmm. That might be a corpse right over there. Might be. No! No, 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 no. Nah. Uh uh uh. Alright. Gotta be quick about this. I don't like this. Did I mention I don't like this? Shouldn't be doing this. Oh god. Alright. That has alerted him. But the initial initial opposition has been eliminated quite carefully. This gun is pretty cool though. Hmm. Gotta go into the store. Alright. So here, here's kind of my predicament. Which is, Pseudodocs are on a rampage. Here's kind of my predicament. I know there's something near us that might just completely maul me. If I stay here, I die. And there is a few guys around that I gotta shoot. Oh. 
Bollocks. Alright, time to turn my back. Okay. So far, so good. Alright. Next. I think I heard two people yell. Oh, yeah, that would have murdered me. Alright, I'll get back to him in a bit. Oh no. Oh no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I I really thought uh, he had me there. I really thought he had me. Thought that was the end. What's that weird beeping sound? Two bullets. Um. How about we use the AK instead? Seven bullets, that's more like it. Ah, I see, it's coming from the corpse. Alright. At least we managed to figure out where the yellow stuff was coming from. I actually originally thought it was one of those grabber things. Right, I haven't actually swept the building yet. No, actually, this, this is fine. We shot and nobody screamed in my ear. Besides myself, of course. Which means most likely there's actually nobody else in this building. I am getting over encumbered and that's pretty bad. Alright, bye bye AK. Hello, new K. Ooh, this thing has a silencer though. Alright. Wait, this thing has a built-in suppressor? Or it has a suppressor? Hmm. Might explain why I got away with it so easily. When I shot these guys. I really regret campfire mode. <laughs> you know. On a side note, I really regret campfire mode. Yes, come with me if you want to live. Alright, I shouldn't play around with bodies. Last time I did that, it got me killed. Alright. So, uh, we're gonna have to offload some bodies. Uh, I think that's... Just ambient sounds, okay. Uh, I think last time around... Well, actually, what I want to say is, like, I think an SVD is quite nice to have, but... Uh, we're gonna get rid of, let's see, we're gonna get rid of this gun, it's too damaged, we're gonna get rid of this tiny thing, we're gonna get rid of this pistol, and we're gonna be getting rid of the arm so protector, are we? No, I'll keep it, we don't have a shotgun, I'll keep it. But that does kind of make us quite heavy, and that's my concern, so the SVD is gonna go... Bye bye SVD. Oh my god, okay. Ah. Nope. Oh. 
three bullets. If I tried hard enough. Wait, no. Let me just put... Uh, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. Oh no, no more bullets. Bad. Pistol, pistol, pistol. Where did that other guy go? Um. Not all of them are dead, by the way. Okay. Seven bullets remain. Okay. Alright. So normally I won't really advocate killing zombies, but these guys have guns, and guns is a good thing. Everybody loves their guns. Ah, uh, gotta hurry up. Alright. Because guns usually come loaded with ammo. And ammo is a currency we currently need more than anything else. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> well, I, I, uh, they found me. I have no idea where he came from, but they found me. <laughs> It was going so well as well. That's the worst part of all. Ugh. I think that was the zombie that walked away. He probably was around the corner. I just didn't see him. Alright, so instead we are now resurrected as Yuri Biscuit. Oh god, can I please die again? Oh. We are... Part of... Um... The loner faction. Seriously, the loner faction? Helmet's damaged. Suit of armor is a bit damaged. Oh my god, I can't believe that uh, that he snuck up on me. Alright, the rest is pretty straightforward. Bert. Yeah, is there any work you need to be need me to do? Sure, I'll do it. Alright, guess where we're going? We're going to Dark Valley. Don't make me shoot you, buddy. Man, that's 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 a real shame though. We were doing pretty well. I knew I shouldn't have assumed that the guy that we shot uh, died. That wasn't my biggest mistake. I made an assumption. I tried to check for the corners as well, that's why I was trying to be extra careful. Be quick about it. Man, we're gonna be dead before we're even gonna get started with this character. I, I really don't want to be here. <laughs> it says the warfare will be funky. Uh, yes it will be. Alright, we're gonna ignore the mutants. I'm actually more interested in going to Dark Valley. Now, Dark Valley is... Wait, where? Oh dear god. Well... That's where we had it. So we're gonna leave, down south, we're gonna go south again. Jupiter Underground, I actually do not want to be in Jupiter Underground. Uh, we go to Pripyat. Then we go to Pripyat Roadway. Oh jeez, no. Um... Well, we'll see how far we can get. <laughs> uh. 
Ah, okay, deep breaths. That really did ca uh, caught me off guard though. Ooh. Right, so the plan is fairly simple. We're gonna stick to the high ground. We're gonna look at this horrendous uh, damage on our helmet. Actually, I wonder, if we go to Pripyat where we died, can we pick up our stuff? Speak about corpse recycling. Uh, I don't think so. I actually think our corpse will despawn. Because we're not on the instance itself anymore. So there will be nothing to uh, loot. It will be quite a shame. Quite a shame. We're not gonna last very long. <laughs> I can guarantee you that already. I'm not interested in the shooting. Yep, we're gonna have to go down this road. At least this time around we spawn with a shotgun, so that might be interesting. Like, I think if I were to throw... Oh god. If I were to throw away all my... Um, assumptions, if I were to pay very careful attention to my surroundings, and I will do nothing stupid whatsoever, Iron Man might be to an extent plausible. And sure, it would rely on me not doing stupid things and being very attentive to things I'm pretty bad at. But, um, as long as I don't just straight up run into anomalies and account for enemies, you know, be patient, carefully wait, it's actually not that bad. Also, I think I got really lucky that I picked up a weapon with a silencer without realizing it. Or that fight would have gone uh, pretty belly up. Inside uh, wherever we fought the mercenaries. And yeah, we did have some close calls. I think I tend to perform pretty poorly once I start panicking. My aim is completely screwed. That's right. You just keep going that direction. Don't mind me. Alright. The Bridge of Nightmares. Where horrendous things are gonna happen. I, uh... I, uh... I take it back. There is no way I'll ever be, play be able to play Iron Man mode. I knew that stuff is there. I know exactly what's doing, and I still nearly get killed. Ah... Uh. Weren't mercs friendly to you? It doesn't matter, Canelfo. We're dead. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You are completely and totally right. Yes, uh, the mercs were the only ones who were kind of like, eh, it was at best. That actually is pretty funny if you think about it. So, uh, we ended up killing a bunch of mercenaries who weren't even hostile to us at first. Guess you can call it true survival mode. Uh, I can't get into the truck from up here. I have to jump down. Ugh. <laughs> ah, that does give me a good laugh. Remember kids, when zombies are running rampant, it's every man and woman for itself. Themselves. They selves. <sighs> Wings, come in. Are you at the objective yet? No, he flew off. Hmm. We could potentially grab a few guns if we decide to go into that factory.
But uh, something tells me we won't survive. I think any attempt I've ever made at entering the factory usually resulted into at least one or two deaths. So, you know. Oh, that was pretty good, though. Uh... Technicians always need new weapon parts to work. Well, that's nice. Good on them. Okay. So what's our next stop? I think we're gonna go straight down. Yeah, straight down right to Pripyat. Pretty basic. I do not want to be in the water. I think there's a bunch of uh, water lurkers to our right. God, the water is loud. Come on. I think there can be crap at the factory. What the hell is that? Zombies. Two of them. Oh boy. Oh, let's bring out my big friend, Shoddy McShot. And then it turns out those guys have guns and we're gonna die. Won't that be funny? Time to put them down for good. Alright, if they have guns, we gotta be quick about this. Wait for it. They're gonna have guns. Just had to wait for them to reload. <laughs> that actually worked out. <laughs> uh, that's very satisfying. Uh, man, this gamble actually paid off. I mean, we basically lost half our shotgun bullets, but. or a bunch of uh, pistol ammo, but still, worth it. Hmm. How damaged is our helmet? 82%. Body armor, 84. If we can find some repair kits, we can repair it without swapping out parts. Let's be attentive to it, as they might say. Also, it might be an idea to quickly sweep through this building in case some people are hiding inside of it. Uh, with a shotgun, I think we might have the upper hand. Let's do it. Hey there, Hellblau. How are you doing? God, what a nasty crack. I mean, as long as we have the element of surprise, we should be fine. Assume, of course, there's people inside. That's a key part. Good, how are you? How are you? What's up in the zone today? Um, we decided to switch. Well, we finished up warfare mode, so now we're actually doing survival mode, and it's been proven to be quite painful. You know, also running it with Iron Man and Azazel. So it's been a, it's been an experience and a half. Otherwise, I'm doing pretty fine. I'm excited for my day off tomorrow because you know, holiday. Pretty sure I can uh, use that free day to recuperate from this pain. <laughs> All right. Oh, great! They might actually contain some good goodies. Hmm. Looks to be empty. Does that mean twelve hours of jack the lines too? Ah, we're gonna finish it in two hours. Are you gonna go to underground trip yet? Uh, <laughs> that's a death sentence, I believe. Uh, currently we're on our way to Dark Valley. What was that? Because we have an objective there. 
Uh, we're currently on our second life out of the three that I gave myself. Because we already met a very unfortunate death because uh, I was being sloppy. Very sloppy. Man, we were getting some good guns as well. That's the worst part of all. Hey, hold on. I cannot break these crates. But I was hoping to get some free guns by going... Uh, checking out this area. Uh, because we have a shotgun, which means we excel at close quarter combat. And... Uh, this is the right place for close quarter combat, but otherwise we're gonna have to take the high road on this one. Alright. Oh god, um... Alright, so Pripyat should be to our left. Yes. Excellent. Not bad at all, found some good shit in this backpack. Oh, That's my stuff. Bastard. I mean, if I'm bossy enough, we can quickly check out where we died. But I don't think there's anything there. Ah, right, this is where it spawns us. Are you going to invade Monodev? This... <laughs> I don't know yet. I don't know, the zone is trying to kill me. Here, I think I might take a, a stop by Monolith. I'm mostly just looking for guns. Uh, mercenaries and Monolith both have pretty decent guns. I've noticed. You know, it's actually ironic now that I think about it. We're in a close combat area and I use my pistol. What a waste. What a god awful waste. Oh, and we also are playing with campfire mode, which means I'm only allowed to save near campfires. What's your favorite gun in the game? Um, the EMR or EPR? EMB? Whoa, that's radiation. I'm not entirely certain what it's called. Uh, we used it during story mode. I mean, the EAK is definitely second. Yeah, the M14. I, I was a really big fan of the M14 followed by the EAK. Like, if you're talking about budget guns, the EAK is definitely the one I'd go for. But if I could pick anything whatsoever, M14. Shotgun wise, it's definitely the A AK that shoots shotgun bullets. And pistols, I really don't have an opinion of pistols. I have a mod on mod TP that makes the M14 full auto. Oh god. I think the thing that I love about the M14 is that you can really use it as a uh, medium range to long range weapon. It's full auto in real life. Man, I didn't even know that. And I don't know enough about guns. I know what an AK is. <laughs> uh, that's roughly about it. A palace of culture. Well, well, well. Don't think I want to be here. Hmm. Ah, uh, okay. Let me think. 
So if we cross through the palace, we can go to the outskirts. Careful. Very careful. And we gotta go down. I could have sworn this place would have been swarming with people. This is the monolith home base. Well, I think, uh... I think the zombies pretty much took care of Monolith, I guess. Um, last time I checked, there were roughly about 190 people in the zone. So I think every faction just has a very low amount of soldiers uh, available to them. Let's, um, let's quickly take a peek here in a moment. Oh, they saw something. Yeah, it's survival, which means that uh, the factions have been severely reduced. Did you change your settings? Um, I think... I'm not sure if I pointed this out, but uh, this is a brand new playthrough. Well... Air quote, air quote, playthrough. We'll see how long it lasts. Since we quote unquote completed warfare, um... You know, we got out of it, but we want to get out of it. We murdered a bunch of factions, we achieved almost complete zone domination. There was not much else left to get. Ah, he's coming for me. Oh, they're all coming for me. So, we're changing it up a bit. Uh... Because we haven't touched survival mode yet. No, 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 back up, back up, back up. Ooh, that was bad. That is really bad. Oh, I don't... Wait, hold on, pills. Cleaning control. More importantly, you did it as a renegade. That as well, we uh, suffered through it as a renegade. It is here. Come on. I want to get off this wild ride. Let me go. There we go. Oh god, I can't believe I ran into radiation. That was pretty dumb. Didn't ignore a weapon just because it's the type you normally don't use. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore it. Always put your axe in one basket. So you don't have to juggle multiple baskets. Right. So, we died... Where did we die? Grocery store, right? Oh, son of a... Hmm. Yeah, just, you know, just gotta be careful, not get hit. Stay safe. Alright, zombies might actually have medkits on them. Ah. Uh. Stop moving! Are you kidding me? Ah! Are you kidding me? Ah, I just fly off into outer space. Oh, there you go, I created the death trap. <laughs> I 
Don't eat the hand, damn it. No! Oh, I, I messed up. This is the end. One shot shell in the head makes the zombie die and not get up. Yeah. I started to panic because the zombie was laying on the ground and his friends were uh, coming to hug me. You know, I did all of this for a med kit. Now I regret everything. No med kit is worth this uh, this pain and suffering. I think I might just end it. Uh, you know, I, I thought I was being very generous with the grace period over the five days. Um. <laughs> hmm. All right. Where did we die in that case? I think we died down here, to be fair. I think we did. Alright, let's walk over there. One step at a time. You know what's funny? If I had decided to put all those weapons that I uh, dropped on the ground into a stash... We at least would have had a little stash with weapons available. But no, I had to throw them on the ground, even though there was a stash right behind me now that I think about it. <laughs> it's amazing how slow my brain can be. Like, now that I think about it, it's like, oh, it's so damn obvious. But back then I was like, well, there's nothing nearby. Might as well just get it over with. Because I was thinking about crates. Just crates in general. Yeah, so this is just going to be painful and nasty. Um, because we are now so damaged, uh, we can't actually run. Uh, just kill me already. Damn it. Well, on the bright side, the doggers might actually finish us. Yeah, this looks very familiar. Little shotgun. I mean, one bite and we're dead, honestly. I think we do have some natural regeneration, so you know, if we're suffering for long enough, we'll be fine. Just like in real life, you know? You get shot in the gut, or you get shredded. You wait long enough, you'll just, uh... You'll be just... As good as new. Now with improved vitality. Yeah, so the corpses did despawn. Just as I expected. I mean, it's still worth checking out. Interesting. So, all the corpses besides Yar despawned. So I guess Yar was their mechanic? Yeah. So, I think the way it works is um, a base can have a mechanic. Or, a, for example, the barkeep. Or, I guess you can take Bird as an example. Um, that one guy in Yontar. Professor what's his face and if they get killed their corpses don't despawn Everybody else is free game What the hell is that? Oh, that's just flowers. Never mind I think this place is still deserted Yep All right, um you know, I'm, I'm not too happy about this. Wait. <gasps> uh, they, they might not be the best guns, but it's all we have. Yoink. Thank you. Ah, it's too bad that my corpse won't be here. 
Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Hi. This guy looks familiar. Wait. <laughs> oh, that's good. That is... Oh, that is disgusting. I love it. So, um, apparently, all the items we picked up have been automatically fully repaired. Incompleteness. Totality. I mean, look at this. Actual guns. Actual everything. Thanks, buddy. Your sacrifice won't be forgotten. God, this is so disgustingly unfair. Alright, let's get rid of the stupid helmet. Let's use the first aid kit so we don't have to pant anymore. See, in the end, life always has a way of working out for us. We now have the Beretta, which means we do not need the other Beretta. Get out. And uh, we now have two backpacks, which I don't need. Imagine not unloading them. Uh. Alright, there you go. This one is unloaded. That one is now unloaded. We'll keep the M14. Oh god, uh, we'll keep the AK. No, actually, we get rid of the AK. We'll get rid of the shotgun. That stupid thing. This stupid thing. Also throwing away 100% condition weapons. Come on, Esther. Come on. Cut me a break, damn it. Alright, so this has more ballistic protection than our current armor. That's what we're going to be equipping. Ah, that works for me. Wait, hold on, that doesn't work for me. Uh, what else can we get rid of? That stupid thing. We'll equip the Psydo Dog Fur thingamajix. Uh, come on, there we go. Also, the LR300 is a better M14. Oh yeah, it does share the same ammo. Hm. That's good to know. Get rid of those stupid bullets. Um, the gas mask, I guess, can stay. Matter of fact, the gas mask is better in some of its um, properties. Throw this out and then we use the emergency repair kit on nothing because this thing is at 82%. RIP. Get rid of the stupid needle. Alright, well, um, I believe they call this not fair, but I call this a win. Alright, back in action. Group of zombies passing by, they've spotted me. And we are gonna go south. To the Jupiter Underground. I don't want to go to the Jupiter Underground. Okay, do I have anything to drink? I should. <gasps> I don't have anything to drink. Oh, that's terrible. Um, Darkscape apparently has uni SG NPCs. Really? Well, that sucks because we're not planning to go to Darkscape. Ever. I hate Darkscape. Screw that place. Uh, Darkscape is the hellhole that um, is also known as Jeep Chase Lands, aka this place, this huge desolate wasteland of anything. 
Darkscape, more like Dark Can't Escape, because it's a pain up my arse. It's a real pain. I really hate it. Right, time for us to leave. Man. Can't wait to die to an anomaly. Hey, do you know when you continue Jack the Lines 2? Uh, Jack the Lines 2 will be tomorrow. I try to do it every Thursday. Um, just so I don't overcommit myself to one game. Or more precisely, so I have time to play other games as well or stream other games. But I hope you're enjoying it, uh, German Lawyer. Nope, not gonna shoot them. I, I was debating it whether or not I should do it. I want to say the same time as usual, but it usually starts at, um... Um... Oh god, what is it nowadays? I want to say 9pm, but that's my time. I think that is... 8pm Central European time. So tomorrow. And we'll probably finish the game. That's not the way back. God, I can't wait to die. Yep. I'm a little bit disappointed that you can basically loot your body and get all the items back. And that the item conditions reset. But I guess that's a side effect of playing Azazel mode. Just a small side effect. Uh, I really need to ditch some items. Oh god, I, ra I ran past it already. Wait. It was to the right side? Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, well, calling me surprised. I actually thought this was a dead end. Also, we really gotta find something drinkable. Come on, let me out! Let me out! Oh, this is not the place where we have to go. Oh, haha, ha. I see. Of course, it's so obvious. Um. Uh. Ah! Yes, found it. Avoid drugs if you can. Now, that's a really good tip. Remember kids, sugar is a drug. Avoid it. Alrighty. Slow and steady. Check all our corners and nothing can go wrong. Especially not with an arm so in our hands. Uh. Especially with an arm swing in our hands. One of these days, it's gonna be one of those grapper guys um, that pull you in and just snap your neck. <laughs> Ooh, we're out of bullets already. Yeah. Didn't, uh, didn't have much of a choice there. But that's kind of what I'm looking for, medkits. At least these zombies have plenty of them, if you're lucky. This is like Stalker, but it's just really the exclusion zone. Honestly, I'd like to see a mod with that. No anomalies, mutants or emissions. Yep, I fully agree. That will be very interesting to see as well. Um, 
part of me, it kind of gives me these vibes that I had with, um, what is that game called again? Or what is the series called again? Metro. You, you just have to take away most of the weird stuff. Yeah, sure, Metro still has some weird stuff. Oh god, oh god, oh god. But at the core, if you just imagine, it's just finding a whole bunch of people. No mutants, zombies, supernatural. Um, it, it can actually be quite interesting. Please stay away, sir. Please stay away from me, sir. Do not make me use this gun, sir. Late. They never learn, do they? <laughs> uh, I never learn, do I? Alright. I guess because you insist. Now I'm in trouble. I'm excited for the Chernobyl Liquidator Simulator. Okay, there's just zombies. I thought they were real humans. Ow! Let's not talk about that. Oh man, what uh, Chernobyl liquidator simulator are you referring to? Color me intrigued, some people might say. Um, or that. That might be another uh, color. Also, I noticed the silencer on this gun is missing. real soon it's where you contain the real Chernobyl explosion and stuff that sounds somewhat interesting quick 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 hurry 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 <laughs> Hurrah. but I assume oh fuck oh no Uh, I, I think I've seen enough of the game. I think I'm done. Done for today. <laughs> at every single co uh, at every single corner, there is a zombie that shoots me in my face. Come on, hurry up! This is not going well. Our lack of water is also hurting us quite a bit. Come on, one of you bastards should have some water on them, right? Why does your screen blur when you shoot a gun? Do you have a mod or are my graphics settings too low? Um, I don't think I have a mod for that. It might just be the graphics settings, but I think it relates to... Um, uh, what do you call that crap? I'm not sure what it's called. 
I think it might be related to the graphics. I know that I fiddled around with my graphics quite a lot because I accidentally enabled uh, this thing called... Oh, if you're talking about this blur, just ignore that. That has to do with the fact that we don't have enough to drink. Oh no. No, oh, please don't say that, Knaffel. Oh, I don't want to cook. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Um... Okay. Don't panic. Remember, we're gonna be fine. Uh, my graphics are terrible because of my bad computer. Um, well, that's not necessarily bad. I've played uh, Stoker on low graphics as well. It's... You know, it's, it's just a few little things you miss out on, but it's still the same experience. God, okay. Alright. Um. Yep. I think we might need a cooking set. In order to cook. Which is pretty bad. Oh, no. Please, no, no, no. I don't want to do that. Um, we do not have a cook. Oh, ha! What water canteen? Thank you. Ah, all right. Saves my day for a while. Let me see if I can quickly pull this up. Let's see visuals, basic, advanced. Um, is there a quick breakdown on which ones I'm using? And say, uh, yeah, I mess around with this quite a bit. Um. Oh boy. Hey, I don't even have motion blur. Or depth of field. Interesting. Sun rays. Actor shadow. We're not even using actor shadow. Don't toggle uh, grass shadows, that's terrible. Re enable that. Stalkers can use headlamps, nice. Alright, and that probably breaks the game, right? <gasps> the whole new experience, it is literally the same. <laughs> I can see my shadow. Okay. So here's the thing, right? Might kill us. So many settings, there's only a few settings for DX8. Yeah, I think uh, that is DX11 that we're running. Or DX12, maybe even. No shaders, though. Hell no. I have a problem. Where the hell am I? I was supposed to go down to the radar. Um... Yeah, definitely don't want to go through there. Definitely don't want to be down here. Or up there at least. Definitely want to be up there. Ah, uh, bollocks. I need to go inside this accursed building. That's right, fellas. Keep running. Uh, I'm a zombie as well. Please don't turn around. Bastard. I warned him. In my defense, I warned him. Ooh, hurry up. <laughs> Not interested. And let's see. Not interested. Excellent. 
All right, so I'm kind of curious. Uh, we've been in the zone for a few days. We've killed a few stalkers. We've been killed. We've seen lots of zombies run around. I think we started with 193 people. I'm fairly certain more of them will spawn in over time. How many are left? How many are left? I'd love to check it out, but I'm kind of feeling a bit exposed. Just a bit. Just a bit. Oh yeah, the main reason why we gave up on the warfare part. Um, now that I think about it, I think squads could still randomly spawn in and our renegades were too weak to- Oh! Oh! Yup. Mm-hmm. Doesn't even make any sense that gun doesn't have bullets. Oh, uh, what the hell? Okay. 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 Alright. Okay. I'm not ready for this. I am not ready for this. Oh. Oh, that scared me. That seriously scared me. Alright, where was I? Stuff randomly spawns. <laughs> oh, stalker. Uh, describe with 15 seconds of gameplay. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Oof. Uh, right, so where was I? Yeah, uh, squads would randomly spawn in, and as a result of squads randomly spawning in, uh, our guys will die because they underperform whenever um, and we're not there. So we end up having to recapture everything we take every, like, two days. Which is just really frustrating overall. So I decided to chalk it up as a victory, you know, total zone domination, that's all we were going for, and we achieved it quite well. Now if you excuse me, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have a heart attack here for a moment. Oh, holy... Hmm. Also, do let me know if my uh, microphone is too loud. I know that I don't try to scream in it, but every single time I'm called off guard, I feel like uh, I feel like the sound bar is pretty much about to explode. I've had a lot of issues with my microphone. Um, sometimes I feel like it's too loud. Sometimes I feel like it's too soft. I think I've had to enable it. Time to leave. Oh. I know I got shot at. Like, I actually had to enable uh, my microphone to amplify the sound it makes. Because otherwise OBS just like, didn't hear it whatsoever. You know, I won't be producing any sound whatsoever. <laughs> Like shooting fish in the barrel. But um, it's it's been a struggle to get it right and I've kind of given up on it. Usually I can get away with it because um, most of the games I play don't involve me screaming from the top of my lungs. But uh, Stalker's an exception to that rule. Uh, obviously. Very, very obviously. Uh, where am I going? I think we gotta go around these apartment buildings.
And I prefer not to, uh... A moist nugget. Ah... Uh, one of the best guns in the game. I'm pretty sure the um, M14 still outperforms the Nozon Grand. Assuming that's the Moist Nugget, which is the wooden stick that we picked up and um, adequately disposed of almost instantaneously. Ooh. Alright, let's get out of here. AK-47, the ISG, the 7.62. Ah, I see. That is a pretty good combo. Wait a minute, AK... Hi guys. 47? Oh yeah, the AK-47. Not to be confused with the AK-74. Which I think is still the best joke around, honestly. Just the fact that the uh, successor to the AK-47 is the 74, and I don't... Wait, it is, right? Should be. Uh, that's right. Bye! Suckers. <laughs> My actual favorites are the G3, the SVT-40, the AKMS. Uh, I think my favorites... I think my favorites are, if I really had to pick, as I s established before, uh, the M14, the AEK. Been a really big fan of that one. I don't know what my third gun will be. I know that we were using a pretty fun gun as well, I just can't remember which one it was last time. It was pretty good. <laughs> uh I mean, I, in the end, I am a sucker for the bolt action uh, guns. That, that remains one of my biggest weaknesses. I think machine guns. That's that's definitely one of them as well. The SMGs, the submachine guns. Can I avoid them? I think I can. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, what he said. Oh no. Uh, bullets, bullets, bullets. <laughs> I don't like the mods from the other games and movies, etc. I think the zone could do without. Uh oh. But it is a nice twist. Take that. The standard monsters are the best. Standard monster. Uh, which is the standard monster actually? Matter of fact, bollocks. Hello. Not now. Not now. Not now. No. 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 Ah. Damn it! Damn it! Ah, that is strike two! Oh! <laughs> uh. Okay, we're mercenaries. I was about to shoot myself. From the original Stalker. Ah, I see. 
Oh, I mean, I guess I can live as a mercenary. <laughs> uh, I heard him as well. I'm like, wait a minute. That sounds like a zombie on my right, but I just killed all of them. And I see that thing jumping around and I run out of bullets. Of course I run out of bullets. Alright. Da. Ah, thank you. So, here we are. Yeah, the... Sorry, there we go. Alright. Yes, we are playing with the Azazel mode together with Iron Man. Um, oh, it's been quite painful. How about... We head on south. Just in a random direction, we'll see what we can do. I mean, I like Assassin mode. It, it definitely prevents you from snowballing in case you die. It's interesting. Speaking about that, before we actually proceed, this is something I was supposed to do ages ago, but I didn't. How many people are left in the zone? Let's see. 130 people? Wait, where can I see this exactly? Oh, I guess I can't. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, one disappointment I have though is I would have loved to play as Unisac. Try to fight our way to the top. But that also will require me to play it in full Iron Man mode, which means uh, no screw ups whatsoever. I'm, I'm not very good at that. I'm actually pretty bad at that, ironically speaking. Alright, this place is pretty deserted after all. Man, I can't believe one of those jumpy things managed to get me. Actually kind of embarrassing if you think about it. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that, that about sums it up. Give or take. And what I lack in skill, I make up for perseverance. Great. Ah. <laughs> we're gonna bleed to death, aren't we? Oh my god, we're gonna bleed to death. Uh. I killed my own ally. Help! Sorry. Don't have a med kit. <laughs> to think I single handedly just uh, killed the guy as well. Not even slowly either, just completely unleashed. Ah, good times, good times. I actually don't mind being too bad at this game, it is still uh, quite enjoyable for me. Like, if I actually wanted to, uh, let's say... Um, do a full playthrough Iron Man mode, where... Um, we complete the entire game with a preset of objectives. 
Just... Oh, come on! Ah, oh, oh, whatever. With a free set of objectives, such as, you know, accumulate this, get these many artifacts, um, kill these people, wipe this out, take control of that, some crap like that, and we only would have one life to do it, that's when my true nightmare begins. Like, I, I shouldn't be doing these things. I should play this uh, somewhat semi-casual. That's why I said, like, I'm not sure how long this is gonna last. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna last that long. Um, plenty of reasons I see uh, why this can basically end today already. Most of the reasons being associated with me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I, I screwed that one up. Oh yeah, that was that was the other problem, wasn't it? So when are we playing CDDA? What what did CDDA stand for again? And Snork is run is over. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Damn thing came up the stairs. The damn thing came up the stairs. Uh what did C D D A stand for again? Oh no. Isn't it? C D D A commands Dine. Obliterate. Wait, there's not even no in there. Alright. Our last life with the renegades. With the boys. Hunting. Easy money opportunities. Alright, friends. Hello. Oh, never mind. Bye. Where's my other buddy? Um, great, we only have a shotgun. We have brought pride to the renegades before, we shall do it again. So why are you playing Iron Man mode again? Um... Uh, mostly because I wanted to change it up a bit. Uh, one of the things which I quite often did back in the, uh... Back in the last week. <laughs> Back in the old days is um, I would go about, get myself killed, reload, get myself killed, reload, get myself killed, progress, get myself killed. You, you kind of get my drift. You know, it's uh, lots of dying. And I hoped that Iron Man mode at least makes it a lot more punishing. So it's Caesar 3 start today. Um. Uh. Uh. It's, it's clearly gonna be spell force, right? But I don't even know. I'm feeling punished already. You're not the only one. You're not the only one. Oh god, I can't believe it. I was hoping that at least... I mean, I, I, I'm... I'm wanting to say, I was hoping at least I would have survived a bit longer, but I think it's kind of impressive I managed to survive for 52 minutes. <laughs> You're not making it with the sold off and two hours left. It's okay, I have ren renegade blood flowing through me, that's all I need. Uh oh. Whoa. No. Bad. Bad. Yup. Renegade blood, there you go. Ah, oh, buff. <laughs> uh. So oh, here's a fun question. No. Ha ha ha!
<laughs> oh shit! Help! I'm out of the bullets! I'm being chased by baddies! Quick, quick, quick! Alright! Empty. Uh... Hmm... This is how we're gonna die. Alright. It's time to formulate a plan of attack. Uh, we're all out of bullets. Who am I kidding? Your hood is off, I think. How did I turn my hood off? That's kind of what I'm curious about. Wait, are you telling me that renegades don't have a hut? <laughs> Why is my hood off? Stay away from me. How did I... how did I do this? How did I do this? Alright. Okay, no point in uh, thinking about it. These things happen. Uh, I think you may have bombed it to a key. The thing that really confuses me is... Um, it actually is supposed to show my uh, hut. Uh, I, I'm just gonna choke it up to renegades. Damn, the, those pesky renegades. Also, I don't know which key I hit. I hit like seven, seven or eight keys. I think it's a... Uh... What was that? <sighs> Alright, well... Let's be fair. Look through the key bindings, it's there. I, I, yeah, that's that actually is the right uh, right call there. But the real question is, general toggle hut num zero. Uh, num zero. Hmm. All right. How about uh, I reassign this real quick? I have no idea what my uh. Num zero is. Yeah, that's my num zero. I can't toggle my hut. That is interesting. Yeah, hmm. Oh. That's weird. Well, maybe the game is also giving up on me. That said, enough is enough. Okay, so. Land of attack. We need weapons. We need ammo. Yeah. I'm I'm currently hitting the num zero. I was also able to assign num zero. So that's that's weird. There are no companions around. Whoop whoop. All right. So the plan of attack. These things are gonna murder me. Those things are gonna murder me. Okay. I'm I'm quickly just gonna you know. Save the game. Oh. Save the game. Yeah, damn it. Okay, well. This is it. We're gonna go to the lumber yards and uh, die a honorable death. Wait, hold on. Do I even have a knife? I don't even have a knife. How am I supposed to kill anybody? Oh, God, um... Alright, end of the run, guys. It's over. It's It's been a blast. We had fun, but all fun things come to an end. 
all fun things come to an end. My shotgun is empty and we don't have any bullets. <laughs> uh, all out of luck. All out of life. Alright, let's do this. I don't even know how much stamina I have. Time to head to the Bandito base. I don't even know where the Bandito base is. That's the one thing I never managed to find. The Bandito base. Come on. Running. In Dark Valley. Oh, right, right, right. Guys, 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 guys. Hi. Hello. Hi. I may or may not have brought some friends. You can only save near camp. Oh, thank you. Okay. Great. Bandito base it is. Just run for the clear sky base and step them until you get shot. Okay, here's joke number two. We don't have a knife. <laughs> um, it's escalating quickly. No hot. <gasps> hot! It's back! Back again! That's bad. Yeah, that feels a bit like an understatement. Anyways, I have a better idea. Instead of going to the Bandito base, we'll go to the uh, the army base, right? Oh god, who am I kidding? I literally will get shot inside. That's a really cool picture. What was the key for meleeing again? Let's see. I don't even know. Settings. Controls. I've played this game for like 8 months and I don't even know how to melee. I'm pretty sure you can melee. I've seen enemies do it against me. Unload all weapons, you. Ah. Oh. Interesting. You need a mod. Ah, damn it! Alright, well. When in doubt, uh. Oh, that's gonna be a true nightmare. <laughs> uh. Are you kidding me? Are those electrified zombies? <laughs> uh, you still need a knife to quick melee. Ow. Man, that's a double zinger right there. That's a sound you don't want to hear, ever. Alright, so this is my hypothesis, okay? Now, it might be a bit of a gamble, but uh, the monolith base was empty, so maybe the military base is empty as well. And if the military base is empty, we can scavenge it for goodies. Huh? Oh, hell yes. Ho oh, ho! Alright, let's get the scavenge party going. Oh, this is what I'm living for.
I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. <laughs> all, right, all right, it's time to leave. <laughs> uh, uh, actually thought that maybe I can sneak inside and pick up one or two bullets. Yeah, one or two bullets. Obviously, I gotta be careful. I can walk right into an anomaly without realizing it. No! I. That was close. That was really close. Ah! Uh. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ah, why do I want this crap? Nobody wants uh, repair components. I can't believe they actually avoid an anomaly. It's a miracle. <laughs> uh, Alright, I guess we'll scavenge a bit. Shouldn't be too bad. Right? Okay, bullets. I mean, that's a good start. Now we just need a gun. Now we just need a gun. Bollocks. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, right, that, that remains an issue. There's no way to open that. Ah. Uh. Hmm, I know of another stash that we can check out. Remember when you spent like one and a half hour repairing your M14? I feel like that was more like 30 hours, but ah, uh, uh, <laughs> it never left my mind. Ooh, some rays. Uh, sure. Arrive tomorrow night. Hide the vodka. Alright. This place is crawling with ecologists. This is what I need though. Ah! Did you win yet? Hey there, Replex. Uh, we might, we might win very soon. Crawl into one of those holes in the side of the hill. I think there's an easter egg. Oh god. I'd love to, but uh, it's currently crawling with uh, crap over there. So I, I will die a horrendous death. But uh, yeah, we're trying out Iron Man mode. It hasn't been going too well. Three out of three deaths in. <laughs> but uh, how have you been doing as of late? But we'll check out we'll check out the Easter egg whenever we uh, have the availability to do so. If we were to die, yeah, nerve wrecker anomaly. That sounds about right. How I feel. If we have to possib or if we die, uh, we'll load or we'll uh, we'll start a session up and we'll quickly check it out. I'm always curious to find Easter eggs. I want to check out that area. Uh oh, they think I'm a zombie. Come on! 
I keep getting bullets. <gasps> oh -ho. Well, well, well. How the times have changed. Alright, so who am I going to take my anger out on? It's definitely going to be the ecologists. Alright, so a few things to note here. We don't have bandages. We don't have med kits. Alright, he's backing up. We don't have stim packs. We have nothing. Oh, uh, the only thing that we have going for ourselves is well. Um, let's focus on on other things. Um, we have bullets. Uh, we we still have a gun. That is in a decent condition. Uh, we avoided an anomaly. Well, okay, that's basically all my achievements, I suppose, for um, today. All the things I've managed to accomplish. Alright, so this is kind of where it's going to be a bit funky. I don't know if he's the only one. If that's the only guy around. He isn't. If we can get a drop on them and kill both of them, that will be a, a pretty big win. Uh, there's quite a lot of problems with that. A. Getting the drop on them. Um, B. Hitting them. C. Killing them. And D. Not dying. I think I just listed... Uh, no, no. Ah! Where, where am I? I think I just listed all the things that uh, are gonna go wrong. Yep. Ah! No one said he wins the race, right? Also, I swear to God, if an anomaly decides to kill me, or um, they'll spot me through the train, I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> They're gonna spot me through the damn train. Right, it's all about the element of surprise. We're quiet enough. We pull the trigger quick enough. They'll never see it coming. Uh... Uh, <laughs> uh oh, I'm glad that I figured this out now. So whenever I was messing around with the hotkeys, I, I may or may not have accidentally unbound my uh, crouch key. There we go, that's better. So, we're doing all this effort just to get the bloody damn gun. Yeah, what was that? Who did that? Me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Apparently, there was a third one. <laughs> Oh, 
Come on. Don't jinx it, don't jinx it, don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Pick pick up, pick up, pick up. Crap, crap, crap. And disappear like the wind. Wait, hold on. Does any of them have body armor? No. No. And that guy is also a no. He just has a helmet. Is it better than my helmet? Probably not, because it's damaged. Okay. Oh. Apparently there is no wall here. Interesting. Um. Yeah, that's not gonna backfire. Do we have an FNFNC? That's cool. We have an asphalt. Oh yes. Uh, barely any bullets for it. And we have an AK-74 with a silencer. All right, progress. I don't like those sounds of explosions. Usually indicates bad stuff. And the fact that there's a giblet over here just makes it even worse. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, truck making kit, I'll take it. Um, that wasn't too bad. You know, we got a pretty decent upgrade out of that. Two guns, one of them being, well, both of them being silenced even. Uh, I'm gonna keep running around with the shotgun though, as well, um, mostly for close quarter combat. I should also switch those two around, honestly. I tend to have a very bad habit to have the shotgun on two, and the actual gun on three. I don't want to confuse myself in the midst of combat. Ah, bollocks to stem bushes. Alright, I want to sweep the inside of the building as well. I'm sure there's one or two uh, of them hanging around. Ecologists, that is. Alright, well. Let's go. Uh, one of the things we're still lacking, which is definitely worth pointing out. We don't have any medkits, we don't have any bandages. So if we get hit, we basically die. That notion, I'm gonna go up the ladders. Um, this hasn't really worked out well for me in the past. But it isn't incredibly bad either. So there's nobody on the roof. This thing doesn't have a scope. Um, and the scope on this thing is a bit better. The top floor seems to be empty. The tunnel seems to be empty. And it's becoming night time. Um, okay. So, here's the thing. Oh god, you're right, I'm hearing the snork as well. Bottom well, area seems empty as well. I kinda wanna go and sleep. Take a nap. But we don't have any food and we have nothing to drink, so we're gonna have to do this during night time. No opportunity to sleep. It's gonna be all play. Oh god. I'm 
becoming foggy as well. Again, I'd like to uh, make an attempt of remark. If it becomes too dark to see, let me know and I'll be running around with a flashlight and deal with the fallout afterwards. That's the only thing that I pretty much dislike about playing during nighttime. I don't know if it's uh, too dark or not to see. I think I used to play with like my um, contrast incredibly high on my PC screens. So what will be pitch black for other people will be uh, perfectly watchable for me. So I'm trying to be a bit uh, cautious about it. There are a lot of buzzing. What's that about? I know there's a thing over there. That's probably causing it. Hmm. Nobody down there. Nobody up here. Nobody up here. Excellent. There's a few stashes we could potentially raid. Alright, so this is what I'm thinking. We're gonna take a quick nap. Um... Okay. Uh, um... <laughs> we're gonna take a quick nap somewhere... Soon-ish. Okay, they're still dead. Yeah, I'll leave that thing be. Guess I'll pick up the small radio. Not that I need it. And uh, let's take a quick nap, shall we? I think we can sleep in one of these places, right? Right. There we go. Now we can see something. Also, I think there was a stash right over here. Huh, touche. Okay. Uh, I'm not allowed to use it, really. Alright, okay. Well, unfortunate. Oh, I thought we could sleep here. Apparently I'm wrong. I'm very, very wrong. Ah, uh, damn it. Alright, we'll go back up. Let's see if we can sleep at the end of the tunnel. That's not a sleeping bag, it's a sleeping backpack. It's a compression bag, which should hold a sleeping bag, which means that if we were to use it on the ground, it should pull out a sleeping bag. Right? Stupid thing. Oh, well, maybe I'm wrong. Damn. Alright, well... I guess our nighttime adventure is about to begin. How exciting. Somebody shoot me. You know what? Somebody actually do shoot me. Come on.
Alright, well... Oh, right, this thing. <laughs> mm. I am not too happy about how dark it is. The bad things usually happen during night time. That's the worst part of all. Usually happen during night time. That place looks very empty. God, I can't see anything. Now to be careful. Don't do anything stupid. And we might survive. Um, but normally I, I always would advise to do a little bit of stalk during nighttime because it's it's a lot more tense, a lot more scary. But right now I'm not feeling up for it at, at all. I want to get off this wild ride. Oh, I need to go to the garbage train hangar. I know there's a sleeping spot over there. Welcome back to the Black Screen Simulator 2007. Yep. Exactly that. This is how the run is gonna end. This is this is what's gonna doom us. More than anything else. I know there's storks around. Snorks, not storks, snorks. Electrified zombies. Uh, what else did we see? Those psi zombies, I guess you could call them. Um, blood suckers, mind suckers. Ah, uh, of factions. Oh god, what else do we have? Anomalies. I want to deal with that during daytime, not nighttime. Nighttime is a nightmare. <laughs> it's okay. Once we arrive at the hangar, we can sleep. It is actually safe there. We're shooting. I know there might be bandits to our left. We gotta be careful of that. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> um, I just remembered. Uh, <laughs> um, we're not part of the loner faction. We are actually part of the renegades. Um. Uh oh. That's all I got to say for that. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti -o. Right, well, guys. Um. This is where it's all gonna go belly up. What can lead me to Darkscape right now? What a joker. Who would even want to go to Darkscape, right? It sucks.
think that was a flashlight. It is worth pointing out. That if there are people around, I haven't seen them yet, but they might actually be able to see me. And I don't think they'll be friendly against me. Matter of fact, I think they'd rather kill me, so... I'm also kind of stuck in a place where I won't be able to uh, run for cover. Well, actually, it's not that bad. There's a few places I can run to for cover. Uh, um, okay. I, um, ah, that's not good. Right, using a flashlight, right, sorry. I, um... Killed a bandit. Ha! I, I think I just saw something that I didn't want to see, which is three boars roaming around inside. But the boars left, which makes this even more terrifying. Because the boars never leave, they always come back. There. No, 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 no. Uh oh, they're learning. Alright, we got all of them. Uh, I actually didn't think they could climb this because um, there's no way to really climb up here, but they are apparently really good jumpers. But hey, your trusty shotgun saved the day. Alright. Ah. Sleep, how I've missed you. Uh, we'll sleep until 4 a.m. Uh, 6 a.m. Got to get some uh, sleep in, right? Said me, never. So, how are we doing? We're very thirsty now. That is actually pretty bad. And we're a little bit hungry. Well... Still have a uh, can of beans. Which kind of brings me to uh, my next problem that we got to tackle. Uh, drinks. Food is fine. Drinks, not. Drinks is pretty bad. You hear that barkeep? Pretty bad. Is there any work you need me to do? I'll do it. Yeah, pseudo dog meat. Yeah, whatever. Um, we have 21k to our name, we can definitely buy a better shotgun, and I think we should, but we can't afford it. So I don't think we can. Oh, that was a roller coaster. But we can get a hunting knife, so let's get a hunting knife. Let's get a bandage. And, um, how about we get some additional bullets? Done. That actually makes me very happy. Uh, the knife we really needed to be able to uh, stab people or things. The bullets we need to shoot things or people. And I can't remember what else we bought. But I'm sure it was very important to have. 
<laughs> uh, death by uh, a lack of drinking. I don't know. Alright, so if I decide to find something to drink, where would I look? Where would I look? What would I be looking for? Drinks, drinks, drinks. Liquid gold. Wait, no, not liquid gold. Um... Hey, there we go. We're done with the coal hunting. We did it. This body is to the gate. Ah. Shame. If you shoot the lunge at the flea market, I think the trader is neutral and will still trade with you. I did briefly consider that. But, uh. Hmm. It requires me to go through all of that and come back alive. I have nothing to heal myself with. How did we end up damaged in the fur? <gasps> oh no! Something, something is killing. Me. Something is killing me. This is not good. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I think we're too starved. I think because we're so thirsty, we're now slowly dying. So I'm gonna count on these guys dropping a med kit. Right, fellas? We have lots of zombies to kill, so you know. Nada. Nopus. Yet. Ah! No! 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 <laughs> Damn it, asshole! Oh. I should have stuck to my shotgun. Should have stuck to my damn shotgun. Ah, oh, unbelievable. Wait, what's going on? What's up? Oh, yeah, okay, it's over. We're dead. I think Iron Man mode doesn't really work with Azazel mode. Or at least that's what I'm assuming because we respawned for the fifth time. I don't think we've managed to survive for five days. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure if I get myself killed now, which is what any sensible, uh... Oh, the... There we go. Any sensible, uh, monolithium will do. Um, you can notice it now says we died five times. Oh boy, uh, right, I... Okay, mercenary, that's not too bad. Uh, I think that does roughly sum up our experience of Stalker altogether, which is quite a shame. Um, I'm saying quite a shame because it's been a pretty fun game. I've been pretty much enjoying it, but I think this is end of the line. Oh no, the Red Forest. I mean, I can't even stay alive for that long. Whoa, what was that? Where did it come from? Oh, you dropped your gun, but It's okay, I picked it up for you. Don't worry, I picked it up for you. That or another game. Alright, hmm. Well, tomorrow is a holiday, so clearly I should be going to bed. Hmm. Let's see, what do I have? I'm the highest tree. 
stupid branch. There we go. Ha! Right, so let's see. Do I still have my list available? Uh, my PC did die quite quite a long time ago. Um, Windows uninstalling itself, that was, that was a real blast. And I lost a lot of important, interesting, um, useful and important notes paths. And I guess it includes the list of games that I could potentially play. All right, well, uh, clean slate, I suppose. And what would be another game that we can play? Um, I'd have to think about it. Oh, the list that I used to have is now completely gone. Man, I, I can't emphasize it enough how painful it is that Windows decided to uninstall itself. Like, I've made sure that my Windows is on my primary hard drive that is very secure. As in, you know, it's an actual useful hard drive. SSD and everything. Yeah, it probably will be Spellforce. Let's see. I should own Spellforce by now. Yes, I do. Wait, I don't own the first Spellforce? Uh, damn. I guess that's going to be the next trilogy we're going to be diving into in that case. Um, wait, is there even a Spellforce 1 on Steam? I'd have to go to Gok, don't I? Son of a gun. Should I say Son of a Gok? Oh boy. Let's see, does Gok have it, have it before I start making any um, unwarranted promises? Steam does have one. Okay, it didn't pull up for me. That's the part that really confused me. Oh man. Uh, right, so that is kind of going to be the plan in that case. We'll pick up that trilogy next and we're going to be playing through that. That's probably going to take us roughly about two years, so... <laughs> It's uh oh it's it's platinum edition. Okay, that that might explain why I wasn't able to find it. Actually it doesn't explain anything. But for now that does conclude what we've been doing with Stalker. It's it's been a very fun game. If you're uh enjoying these type of games, I could highly suggest you play it. Yada yada yeah, you know how it goes. Um But that was anomaly from me. When are we doing that X dash com playthrough? Um, that's another thing that I was thinking about maybe doing on the first day instead. Uh, I could totally do that. 100% totally, utterly, completely do that. Okay, so that's how I'm going to do it. Um, I'll be back in a bit with Spellforce. It probably won't work right out of the... Right off the box, so we're gonna have a lot of fun with that. For now, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, that I guess officially marks the end of us playing Stalker. What a fun game! Ah, <laughs> uh, what a fun game! Ah, so uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoy your free day if you have a free day. Enjoy your weekend. Wait, weekend? Well, if you have an early weekend, I guess. And uh, thanks for watching. Man, I'm gonna miss this game. It's been a, it's been an adventure and a half. Yeah, that's that's how I want to go out. Giblets, come on, giblet me. Oh God, you have died six times. Good riddance. Ah. Uh. All right. So long.